What's up everybody, this is North Park 6666 here and in this video I'm going to be talking about the backstory of the Brookhaven game which I played on Roblox on the 28th of May 2024. I originally uploaded this video on the 29th of May 2024 but unfortunately after I've uploaded it I realised how broken the video was and about 50% of the second half of the video was greened or blacked out. When I tried to join in James Locke 888's game about three times, James Locke did not even know I was in the game. He is playing on the PlayStation 4. And the reason he is playing on the PlayStation 4 is because his laptop wasn't working. And also, as he's on the PlayStation 4, he can't see the main chat, nor did he get a message that I joined the game. In case anyone is wondering James Lock 888 is playing Roblox on the PlayStation 4. North Park cannot chat to him on the main chat as he is not playing on a computer. I meant to say that James Lock 888 was not playing on the computer, so I got the narration wrong. So I then headed to the fire station where I decided to be fire chief before I realised that was the wrong decision to make. In the game, I like how I was typing on the computer because that animation looks awesome even when I'm wearing the squirrel outfit. It still looks pretty cool and funny at the same time too. The fire station also has TV which has about 5-6 to six channels and they aren't moving animations unfortunately but it was still fun to mess with the TV and pretending to break it when I was constantly changing the channels very quickly. The TV didn't actually blow up and I don't think you can break the TV in this game. Oh, there's James Lock 888. So let's go into his house. This is James Lock 888's house, which has like a pizza takeaway at the bottom floor. Guess what, James Lock 888? I'm at your apartment. Later on, I saw one of James's friends on the Brookhaven game, and I believe it's the same person that was playing work at a pizza place game on Roblox the same day that I was playing that game. They even got a similar looking pizza truck, or the closest thing that they can get to a pizza truck. So then I walked up to a sign which has the word gay on it, but I didn't think Roblox would allow that. So then I decided to change the sign that James Lock 888 has typed out. So I mentioned that I changed the sign LOL and then I typed on the sign James Lock 888 will not touch this sign. And then I changed another sign that was typed by James Lock 888. But this sign says, do you want a pizza? Call us if you want a pizza from the pizza guys. I responded and put on the sign I will eat all your pizza lol as a joke on the big sign. But I don't know who exactly I'm saying this to. Maybe James Lock 888. And then I decided to play football in Brookhaven. But it was hard to kick a ball around in this Roblox game. It looks like you're kicking it, but sometimes you're kicking it backwards. And also this looks weird as I'm kicking it with a Jackson McQueen car. And this was played and recorded a few days after James Lock 888 says I can't kick a real football in real life. Well, this shows that I can. Well, actually, not really, because it's a football in a Roblox game. So I then went back to James Lock 888's house and I realised he's locked the door so I can't get in his house. But still, I tried to break in. But not long after that, I saw James Locke's friend in the pizza van with James Locke and him jumping out. So then I decided to change the signs again. So I had the idea of calling James a noob since he's called me a noob lots of times on Roblox. So it's now my turn. No, no, no. I can't believe it just hashtag that because noob is not a bad word. So I got baffled and a bit annoyed. I don't know why it hashtagged it because since the word noob is used a lot in the Roblox terms, I think that is just plain downright stupid. And then I put, I will steal your pizza on the sign and it didn't hashtag that. And then James Lock 888 went back to change the sign, which says, if you want a pizza, call for delivery and the pizza guys will be there. 
which I think is what was on the sign before I changed it. Oh yes, and did I not mention that Roblox does not like the word sucks either, as it would hashtag the whole sentence. And then I put call me to steal your pizza. Soon afterwards, I went back to James Locke 888's house, and then I get killed. When I came back to James Locke 888's house, I found out that it has a horse field around it. Oh, come on! And that force field is to stop players from getting into the house. All players have the options to put a force field around their house in Brookhaven. And that is what a random Roblox player did to me. But we'll show that bit later on in the video. And then I put one of the most stupidest things on the sign. Call me to get rid of James Locke 888. I don't know why I put that on the sign to be honest, but I thought it would be funny. Roblox did not hashtag this phrase, but Roblox has hashtagged some other phrases which I didn't think was that offensive. I thought this was slightly worse than some of the other stuff that I put on the sign. James Lock 888 is trying to get me away from the sign, so I can't type anything else on it. And this is how James Lock reacted. He told me to do one. For payback, I put do twos, which was possibly not a good idea, and this was what caused a sign argument or the beginnings of one. And again, I was surprised that Roblox had actually allowed that because I didn't think Roblox would allow such a rude phrase like that. Like I thought the word gay would get hashtagged as well. It's not an appropriate word to use. So back to what I was saying about almost losing this video that I made on the Brookhaven game when I called James Lock 888 a Kevin. It would have been a shame if I lost this video as this part was really funny. It's my son, Kevin. So I know what you guys are going to say. How is this funny? But I think it was one of the best moments in the video. And if I was to lose the Brookhaven video that I made on the 28th of May 2024, it probably would have been bad and I possibly wouldn't be able to repeat that same moment again. So after that, the next thing I put on the sign was the word loser. And guess what? Roblox hashtags it. After I made this video, JamesLock888 says that he wrote a sentence with the word slow in it. And he also got hashtagged as well. Then I had the clever idea to put the slash and backslash keys to make an up arrow and then put yours which you may know what I'm trying to say, since it's not possible to type arrows on a keyboard. I was actually surprised that Roblox actually allowed this phrase, but I did eventually change the sign back to saying this is my sign, because I didn't want to keep it up there for other players to see. This is what James Lock 888 put before I changed the sign. James Lock 888 then took me to a random player's house. I don't know which house James Lock 888 took me to, but I decided to explore it. Whilst I was exploring the house, I realised that there was a player inside, and I don't know if she likes me being inside her apartment. And this was the part where my video had broken when I first uploaded it. When James Lock 888 commented on my videos when he says that my video was broken, I thought that it was out of sync, but actually it was like the second half of the video being greened or blacked out because the video didn't upload correctly. And this is when I literally got kicked out of the house and got killed as well. So I may have trespassed in the house, but I didn't actually steal anything from the player's house. Later on after that, I went back to change James Locke's sign and put come and get your stinky pizza, which was one of the funniest things. Roblox did not hashtag the word stinky, which was a good thing, because it did hashtag some weird words like noob, sucks, well it depends how I use the word sucks. If I say that something sucks, then it would hashtag it. But I'm not going to explain what the other way of saying sucks is, and it somehow allows it. But then I gave James Lock 888 a piggyback ride. Sometimes this works, and sometimes it doesn't. Then all of a sudden, James Lock's friend started to shoot me. You're not supposed to be using a weapon in this game. If you shoot me, you're shooting both of us. 
who are you anyway? At that point, I didn't realise it was actually the same player that played working at a pizza place on Roblox. Be running around circles around you. Originally, I did not know what started all of this off. I have no idea what the hell is going on. Why is this player shooting North Park? Weapons are not allowed in Brookhaven. You know what? I'm stealing your truck. Oh, it won't let me shoot. I didn't know why this player was shooting at me until James Lock 888 told me why. This player kept shooting at me, and it was because he was mad at me. I bet other players will be wondering what the hell's going on. James Lock 888's friend was mad at me, not because I kept going into James Lock's house, but because I kept changing the signs. And that's what James Lock 888 told me days later. I then went back into the same house which I got kicked out of last time. But what I didn't notice at the time is that it's now owned by a different player. Not the same player who kicked me out of her house, but a different player. Whilst I was in the bathroom in the apartment, something strange happened. The curtains have actually closed and I didn't even touch them in the game. And I don't know if another player had touched them, but I couldn't see another player inside the same house that I was in. And I was wondering who shuttered the curtains, but not long after that, the house disappeared. And unlike what the last player did, which they kicked me out of the house and killed me, this player just closed their house down, possibly because they left the game. Back to the sign I went, and I put on the sign, come and get your crappy pizza, which was possibly not the best thing to put on a sign, and it would possibly annoy even more players. Roblox has hashtagged that as well, because it doesn't like the word crap, or crappy for instance. I had a better idea and put come and get your rotten pizza, which hopefully Roblox will not hashtag it, because it's not as inappropriate as the other things I put on the sign. Roblox does allow the word rotten, but it didn't allow the other thing I put about the pizza. After I put that on the sign, I went back to James Lock 888's house. When I went into his house, I went straight into the bathroom to hide from James Lock 888. I was sitting on his toilet and hopefully James Lock 888 won't come into the bathroom. But as I was sitting there, another player came into the bathroom and it wasn't James Lock's friend. It was another player who had a shotgun and kept shooting at me for some reason. And I was wondering who that player was. You're not James Lock 888 and why are you using a shotgun? Thinking about it, the player who kept shooting me looks like the exact same player who was in that other house where I got killed. I hope you get into trouble for this. Other than that, I don't know why this player went into James Locke's house. I still can't drive the truck. The last player, which was James Locke's friend who kept shooting me, was because I made him mad. That's right, you better get out of here. That player who I just chased out, I don't know who he is. It's not James Locke's friend, but it looks like the same player who went into the other person's house which I went in and got killed at. And I think I saw him there when I was kicked out of the house. So I did see him once in the game, but I don't know why he went into James Locke's house and kept shooting me as well. There was a fire that was reported at residence number 21, which is where I went to next. And then I arrived at residence 21 and I realised they put a force field around the house, so I can't get in to put the fire out. I wasn't going to show you this bit guys, this part of the video was a bit boring, as I was just walking around the hospital in Brookhaven and that's where I got myself lost inside the building. So in this part of the video I thought I may have disturbed someone else's roleplay but apparently I didn't and I thought did I put myself in a situation that I didn't mean to be in? What I was trying to do is look for a way out of the hospital. What I didn't realise is that I was by the exit at this point and I went the wrong way and still got lost. Whilst I was trying to find the exit I accidentally put myself into the x-ray machine and god were those lights bright. After a minute or two of trying to find the exit, I did eventually find it and left the hospital. Later, I came back and discovered that the sign had been changed. First, I thought that James Locke 888 may have changed the sign, but then I realised it wasn't him who did it. 
so I went back to the sign and I had the idea to put North Park 6666 rules. So I did this as a joke, but I'm not sure if they would like it. But it's not as bad as the other things that I've put on the sign. So I then went back into James Locke 888's house to only find that he's playing the same music that he played at working at a pizza place game on Roblox. I'll turn that music off. Your house has caught fire, James. You do realise this. James Locke 888 told me that he deliberately caused the fire. And he also said that he locked both doors while I was in there. From what I think, I don't think the fire actually kills you in this game. I then told James Locke 888 that he can deal with this himself. With a sign, of course, because he can't see the main chat. Also, while this happened, I had a bit of a sign argument with James Locke 888 that he wouldn't put the fire out. And also, while I did that, I put FO on the main chat by accident and not on a sign. And that was the biggest mistake that I made because James Locke 888 can't even see the main chat because he's not playing on the computer. He is playing on the PlayStation 4. And I know I said that lots of times, but I didn't show this part on the screen recording. Another part which I didn't show on camera was when Jamis changed the sign and insulted me on Roblox. I thought I didn't know Jamis, but it turned out it was one of James's friends that I actually spoke to once when he called her. I was going to make a second video of when Jamis typed an insult with my real name on the sign. I ended up not uploading that video, and the reason why is because I accused James Locke 888 with causing a problem with me and Jamis, which I have no evidence that James Locke had caused the problem. And I didn't want to upload a video where I accused James Locke 888 with no proof, because I thought it wouldn't be right. Let's not say any more about it. So then James Locke 888 gives me a sign, so I am able to communicate by typing to him on the sign. So I put on the sign to James Locke 888 to put the fire out. As I typed this on the sign, he replied by saying that you're the fireman. So I replied back to him and I said that I quit and I don't want to be a fire chief anymore. Since I wasn't very good at being fire chief and I don't know where the houses are and I don't know how to put the fire out either. Eventually the fire was put out but I don't know if James Locke 888 was the one who put out the fire. So then I did something that I should have done a long time ago, quit the fire chief job. And then I gave James Locke 888 another piggyback ride. Also, when you're trying to give players piggyback rides, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't work. So anyway, this has been the backstory video of the Roblox Brookhaven game, which I played on the 28th of May 2024. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye everyone.